Recently, I was talking to a highly intelligent woman who asked me about the sources for our knowledge of Jesus. I took her through the Greco-Roman sources, the Jewish sources, and then I began to list the Christian sources, those now in the New Testament. At that point, she stopped me and she said, but hang on, you can't use those. They were all written by religious people. She somehow got it into her head that religious devotion disqualified these texts from being regarded as historical sources also. This is not exactly how historians see the matter, but to explain this, I'm going to have to take you to a football match, the English kind. There are few more devoted supporters than British soccer fans. And today, we're witnessing a clash between two rival faiths, Arsenal and Tottenham. What kind of witnesses do these fans make? Uh, they've had a lot of possession and they're looking a bad team, but for the decisions, completely wrong. It was just offside, wasn't it? Was no, it was just too off. Hard to tell. No, too hard. just off. Yeah, yeah, it must definitely. have been offside. Pony, Absolutely. He was offside. Well, one nil down, we take that, but the second goal was definitely not a penalty. I know, I know we're Spurs fans, we hate Arsenal to bits, but it weren't a penalty. Oh, the offside, all right, they give in, they're not, but the penalty, I think he got the ball. No, it wasn't a penalty. He got the ball. The first penalty, got the ball. Second penalty, chipped over his own. League. So how, how can you give that as a penalty? At the end of the day, we lost 3-0, but we didn't contest for any of the balls out there. It's horrible. Why is it? I hate it. There's no question that the way people see an event is coloured by the team they support. But that doesn't stop them being able to report some basic facts of the event itself. In other words, the bias of witnesses doesn't destroy the value of their testimony. It's true historians take into account the Christian agenda when they analyse the New Testament, just as they take the imperial bias into account when studying Castus, or the Jewish bias when reading Josephus. But it just isn't true that historians place the writings of the New Testament in a special basket called religious texts. Quite the opposite. 